Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a reading for November. Now keep in mind that this reading may not resonate with you because it's for somebody. It's not for everybody because this is for the general public. It may be your reading, it may not be. This could happen at any time in November. This is being recorded in October, so I mean it can resonate with you now or at any time throughout the month of November. So come back to it later if it doesn't resonate now. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Typically my readings are love readings. We'll see whatever comes up. I'm going to read these cards intuitively like I always do. I don't follow. I mean, I do use some of the, you know, traditional meanings, but I read the cards intuitively. So keep that in mind. And this is a pretty deep deck. Okay. Um, just saying. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know for November? Cops, you guys may have made some sort of wish and you're you're waiting for that wish to come true, huh? You want something, right? You're wanting more. You may be getting sick of waiting. It's like you may have an opportunity right in the palm of your hand and you maybe you don't know it. Keep that in mind. Oh, this is you in reversed. It's the hermit reversed. You're not listening. What's the what's the deal here? This is you. This is the hermit, not following the path. You're not listening. You need to go within, and you really need to reevaluate a situation. Ooh, God, okay, well, Ace of Wands, there's an opportunity for a new beginning here, right? I mean, it's like something, there's an opportunity for growth. The time is ripe for fertilization, I mean, come on now. There's that that you know what that is. That's that that's the that's a sperm in the in the egg. I mean the sperm has gotten in the egg and there's about to be a you know growth here. So we have a, a new beginning on the horizon for you, Virgo. But you can choose to keep it or not, right? Do you want this new beginning or not? It's in the palm of your hand. Hmm. This here's your new beginning right here. This is 13. Death says Yule. With endings bring new beginnings. It's a time of transition. Mm. But you guys are fighting a new beginning, right? For some reason, there's something that is making you feel empty and lost and incomplete. There's something in your life that is incomplete and it's because you are rejecting this ending. This is you rejecting a completion of something. But whatever it is that you're holding on to is not really fulfilling you. You're wanting something more. And there's an opportunity for something more. Ooh. Oh my goodness. The Four of Wands. This, this could lead to something very, very passionate.
and happy, a lot of happiness. But you're going to have to come out of your shell. You've been getting prepared for quite some time for this anyway. I mean, it's not like you're not ready for it, but apparently you're not, right? It's time for you to emerge. It's a time of transformation, right? Ooh, seven of swords reversed. It's time for you to broaden your horizons and head down a new path, even if it means starting over from, from the beginning. Because there's an opportunity for a lot of happiness here with a lot of growth, a lot of passion, a lot of excitement. If you can stop, it's like you're deceiving yourself in some way by holding on to something that is over but not letting it go. You need to come out, like I said, you need to come out of your shell. You need to go down that new path, but you're reluctant to go down that new path. Oh my goodness, look at this. And this is this is you, man or woman, really. I mean, it's the it's the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Which is uh you know, you. You aren't being realistic. You're not being grounded. This is lack of stability, security. Somebody's not being realistic. Not, and, and it's because they, they think that wherever they're at, this is where they're supposed to be, but that's not where they're supposed to be because there's an opportunity for something brand new here that wants to begin. Something has to end so that you can have this new beginning. Right around the corner, there's a, there's a major new beginning. But it's something that you have never experienced before, okay? It's not, it's a, it's brand, 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 brand new. But you're, and this is released, the Four of Pentacles. You're going to have to stop holding on to whatever this empty situation is. The conflict, the inner conflict. The thoughts, the old thoughts that have kept you back. And you need to stop holding on to the fear of conflict. It's like there, if you, if I look at this, it's like there's pages that are being ripped out and they need to be ripped out. That's no longer part of your story, right? It's not. There's something that is no longer part of your story that you are still holding on to. And it's time to take action. This is the Knight of Wands. It says Crone of Fire. It's time to take action right now. Because we know that you're wishing for something more, right? You've been wishing and praying. And, and actually, the, the, if, if you see there's fire in her hand, it's in the palm of your hand. All you have to do is stop thinking about it and actually go down that path that you've been dreaming about. Do it. Just go.
you may feel like you've reached a a place of anguish, depression, despair, to the point where you're like, I don't know if I can even carry on. I'm, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know what to do. I feel like there's a lot of confusion here. There's a lot of loneliness. And you're, you're on the verge of like giving, it looks like you're on the verge of giving up on everything, but... Maybe it's time to give up on those thoughts that you don't that you you can't have a passionate beginning or a new birth or whatever. You maybe you need these are thoughts. Nine of Swords. That's thoughts. It's all in your head. There's an opportunity for a lot of happiness under here with that Four of Wands. That's ex that's happiness, but you have to walk that new path. Instead of letting your fears, your thoughts, get the best of you. This is the nine of pentacles. You have, you have it all. You really do. This is abundance. You have a lot to be grateful for. A lot. Everybody looks up to you. They do. They respect you. They see how stable and sturdy and strong you are. But there is absolutely a door that needs to be closed. And it's a door that has left you feeling incomplete and empty on the inside. It's time for you to take action. Stop deceiving yourself. Come back down to reality and realize that you have an opportunity to have it all. You do. You do. But you're going to have to take a risk. <laughs> That's the fool. This is the fool card. You're going to have to have faith and you're going to just have to run with it. Trust that Whatever is meant to be is meant to be. And head in that new direction with a free spirit. Okay, just go. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here where the past is left behind and you are able to start afresh, start anew. And just be yourself again. This is the Ten of Wands, but there's something that you are overwhelmed by, right? You are you're carrying around a lot of heavy weight there's too much it's just too much and that's how you feel it's just too much it's like you don't have An ability to stand up for yourself and, and do something. There's too much. It is. It's too much. And it, and it looks like you guys are throwing away a golden, a golden opportunity. For success. 
a golden solid staple opportunity to be happy because you're reluctant to close a door that is overwhelming you. There's something that needs to end and you know what it is. And there's an opportunity for a transformation, a new beginning, a new fresh start. But right now you are overwhelmed with the with your thoughts about going down this new path. You're overwhelmed with your thoughts. It's like, oh my God, if I do that, if I go down this new path. Will there be growth? There will be growth. So if you're questioning that, yes, there will be growth. There will be excitement. There will be success and there will be expansion. There's an opportunity for a new partnership here. Brand new. Brand new. But you guys are holding on to something that is a dead end right now. And there's fear of loneliness. There's fear of growing old alone. And you may be at that point where I'm, I am going to grow old alone. You know? Some of you are. It's like I'm going to grow old alone. I'm never going to find anybody. Well, there's an opportunity right now for a new partnership. If you can let go of your fears. Take action. Communicate. With that page of swords. Communicate. Allow the growth to happen. If you fight it, of there's not going to be any growth, right? If you don't fight, if you fight it, there won't be any growth. There won't be this new partnership. So Virgo, I feel like there's an opportunity for a new beginning here that could lead to something very passionate and happy. But it looks like you may not accept it because of your own thoughts. It's what you really want deep down, deep down inside. You really want this, this partner, this partnership. You do. But there's something with endings bring new beginnings. Something has to end first. Otherwise, you aren't going to get this opportunity that you've been wishing for. There's something overwhelming and burdensome. And this could even be responsibilities. That you can't let go of. You may be overwhelmed with the responsibilities that need to be let go of. That are impacting your ability to have this successful relationship. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here in love. If you can close that door that is overwhelming you. Nines are closure. Nine, nine, nine. Closing the door. You're all upright. It's time to move on. This is a completion. It's time to complete that cycle that has kept you stagnant and bored and discontent. But you have to do it, right? That is this. You have to take action. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment with a new partner that could make you very, 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 very happy. Transformation. Absolutely. This is a transformation card. They're both together, too. I love it when that happens. It's time for your transformation, Virgo. This is actually the chariot card. Put yourself in the driver's seat. You're the boss. And this is also a card of victory and success with this new beginning. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. We have all the signs here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have you, Virgo. We have Aries. It doesn't really matter. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have all the signs here. But you have an opportunity for victory and success when you decide to take that new path.
be prepared for the birth of something new. And it looks like it's going to be successful. What else? What, we should get another card, don't you think? I think we'll get one of these. So for November, Virgo, I think it's about accepting a new opportunity. You, you have an opportunity for a new beginning, a new partnership here. Maybe even a pregnancy for some of you. Whatever it is, there's an opportunity for happiness. But you can't you can't be lying to yourself. Somebody's been lying to themselves and they need to take action. Focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. The stream continuously feels you, feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation and all that you do. You deserve to receive too, right? That's what your main focus is, is on service anyway. That's a given, right? See only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. You know what I just heard? Was go after love. If you are overwhelmed with responsibilities that are holding you down and it's impacting your love life, choose love. There's an opportunity for a passionate new partnership, new, N-E-W, new partnership here that could lead to a lot of success and happiness. But it looks like you have to take action and close a door that is holding you back. So I'm going to keep doing these readings. I'm going to keep doing them like every week. I'll start doing the weeklies again starting next week. Right now I'm doing the Novembers. I won't be. This is a very deep, heavy deck. I will be using my other decks for those. These are different kind of messages. So I'll go back to my other decks for the weeklies, which I'm going to start back up next week. Which will be more... I'm going to be concentrating on predictions instead of more stories okay we're going to try to 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 phase into more of a prediction kind of thing but then again whatever comes i just heard after i said that well whatever comes out comes out you know so whatever is meant to come out is what they're going to give me i can't fight it talk to you later